Purple Heart recipients received that award because they were either injured or killed in combat with an enemy of the United States. And they've always left a part of their, themselves on the battlefield. So they will never be 100% again. So it's very important that we recognize them, we're able to tell their stories, um, to put it on record what they've gone through for service to this nation. a career army man and I don't think I ever wanted to be anything like a firefighter or policeman or anything. I don't think I ever wanted to be anything else over the years. Um, got out of high graduate from and being in the army we moved around a lot. Spent my last two years at a high school in North Carolina and applied for the Air Force Academy but expecting to transfer to the army. Didn't get in, uh, went to college for a year and then applied for West Point among uh, the Air Force Academy again and got accepted to West Point and graduated in six, 1966 and stayed in for 26 years. Went to Vietnam after about six months in the States as a lieutenant, uh, served for about a year and a half. Part of my set, part of the half of the year was curtailed when I got shot in the foot and got evacuated to Japan. I was in a helicopter and we were, um, the unit that I was working with had found a North Vietnamese unit and the commander of them were circling them. And I remember looking down and we saw, we were pretty low to the ground and I looked down and saw some of them scurrying for cover. And all of a sudden we, I felt the helicopter kind of shudder and we had taken five rounds through the floor of the helicopter from an enemy um, machine gun on the ground. And I was the only one hit and went through my foot which was kind of odd later because as I was being medevaced to Japan and two, day, two days later, I looked over and on the same, on adjacent stretchers were the two people I had been with the day I got shot. The helicopter I would have been on crashed the day after I got shot and they sustained back injuries in the crash. So um, I don't know if you call that uh, Fate, karma, uh, serendipity, you know, but it was, uh, it was interesting perspective. Uh, but, it, uh, but I served 30 months altogether, for including my second tour in Vietnam. I went back uh, later on for a year. So uh, I've, that was my Vietnam experience. First Purple Heart was in my first tour. Um, a friend of mine, without realizing what he was doing, mistakenly did some steps looking for something and he triggered a booby trap. And I got a few fragments from that booby trap explosion in my chest, but it wasn't, it wasn't severe. It kind of scared me at first, but it wasn't severe. Um, the, the second one was, uh, I knew I'd been shot. I, I knew it hurt and I knew I'd been shot. And I worried about the angle. It, it could have how close I came to being hit in a more vulnerable spot by the angle that I was sitting. So the two different extremes, so for lack of better words. And I say extremes. These two, my two wounds, nothing compared to some people who were very, very severely, severely injured in Vietnam, including friends of mine who got severely wounded. So I'm very, I'm very fortunate in that respect. I think it's an honorable profession. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it has the right purposes, it has the right objectives. It, I think uh, I, I enjoyed most of my time and I would be foolhardy not to consider doing it again. And my son's in the Army, he's been in for about 20 years, he's, so he's, he's enjoying it and it's a pleasure to see him uh, achieve a, much of the same satisfaction I did. Some people say they loved every day. I'm not going to say that. Uh, there are some days I didn't love. I enjoyed most of it. I enjoyed the fact that in most cases, uh, all of us were united towards a pretty common purpose and goal and worked hard to achieve that. And uh, that, uh, you know, particularly uh, in my latter assignments when I had different positions of responsibility.
Not everybody should serve in the military, but everybody should do some kind of compulsory service. Male and female should contribute in some way, shape, or form for the greater good. Thank you.